Hello, I'm Maureen Barley with ConcreteNetwork.com. Water vapor has a nasty tendency to delaminate overlays, and the result is a failure to bond. The best defense to having an impermeable overlay trapping water vapor emission is to seal the concrete before topping it with an overlay. Dave Pettigrew of Diamond D Concrete in Capitola, California, shares his method to avoiding this potential nightmare. Dave starts with Crown Coat Vapor Barrier from Crown Polymers. It's essentially an ultra-low viscosity epoxy. But before he squeegees the product on, he starts with the most important step, preparing the surface by grinding the floor. Sometimes this can also involve filling cracks with liquid epoxy, bead blasting, sand blasting, or an acid etch with muriatic acid. Finally, after a layer of 25 to 35 millimeters of crown coat layer, he back rolls it and lets it level itself. The next day, he applies an epoxy coating from Crown Polymers, and while it's still wet, he broadcasts sand onto the surface until it no longer wets from the epoxy. As a result, while the epoxy is attached to the vapor block, the sand acts as a tooth, and now the overlay can be attached to it. Dave summarizes this whole process by saying that it may seem like a lot of extra work, but nothing compared to the nightmare you have to deal with when it starts coming up. For all of us at ConcreteNetwork.com, I'm Maureen Barley. Thanks for watching.